In this video, we are going to study about motion of vehicle on convex and concave surface. Here we can see a vehicle which is moving along this convex surface and is present at the topmost position of the convex surface. Now at this position, the number of forces acting on the vehicle are the very first force is its weight mg which is acting vertically downwards and the normal reaction n between the road and the vehicle is acting in the upward direction and resultant of these two forces gives the necessary centripetal force which is going to be acting in downward direction so from this we can write mg minus n is equal to m v square upon r mg in downward direction n in upward direction so mg minus n and resultant of these two gives us this resultant centripetal force now in concave surface when the vehicle is present at its lowest position then the number of forces acting on the vehicle are the very first force that is its weight mg acting vertically downwards and normal reaction n between the road and the vehicle is in the upward direction the resultant of these two gives us the required centripetal force and we can which is directed in upward direction that is toward the center of this curved path and is given by n minus mg is equal to mv square upon r now in case of convex surface from this equation we can write normal reaction n is equal to this mg minus mv square upon r this is the equation for the normal reaction which is going to be act on the vehicle when the vehicle is present at the topmost position on convex surface whereas in case of concave surface from this equation we can write n is equal to mv square upon r plus mg this equation gives the normal reaction which is going to be acting on a vehicle when the vehicle is moving along the concave surface from this equation of convex surface we can clearly see that as the speed of vehicle increases the normal reaction in this case decreases it shows that the vehicle may lose contact with the surface whereas in this case of concave surface as speed of vehicle increases the normal reaction also increases now we will derive equation for maximum safe speed of vehicle on a convex road surface or on a convex over bridge here you can see we have consider a vehicle of mass m moving with speed v over a convex over bridge now as shown in this figure vehicle is at the top of this convex over bridge of radius r now as we discussed earlier the number of forces acting on the vehicle at this topmost position is the first force that is its weight mg which is acting vertically downward and the normal reaction between the vehicle and the road surface which is in the upward direction and resultant of these two forces gives the necessary centripetal force which will acting in downward direction therefore we can write mg minus n is equal to m v square upon r as we had discussed earlier this equation shows us that as v increases the normal reaction n decreases therefore for finding the upper speed limit of a vehicle on this convex road so that it will just maintains the contact with the road surface we are going to put n is equal to 0 therefore put n is equal to 0 and if you put n is equal to 0 in this equation we are going to get mg is equal to mv square upon r therefore v max is equal to root rg so this is the equation which gives us the maximum speed at the topmost position in case of a convex 
surface so that the vehicle will not lose contact with the road surface.